Welcome to the inaugural version of Beat the Swami. Here we are at Connor's Pub, the nexus, the birthplace of the Indianapolis GAA. Behind us, we've got a picture from 2009. Look at, there's barely 50 guys in that picture, and now we have over 200 people playing the Gaelic sports in Indianapolis. Great to see the growth, great to see how this club has grown in the past couple of years to where we're at. We have record-breaking numbers this year, over 200 people playing, 10 teams of hurling, three teams of Gaelic football, camogie, we've got it all going on here. Just a terrific year, it's a great year. And we have a ton of great new sponsors. While we're here at Connors, the Swami this year is sponsored by the Hotel Tango Distillery. We're gonna have at the end of the year a great Hotel Tango Distillery gift package for the winner of Beat the Swami. Great to have all these new sponsors. Great to show Indianapolis GAA love across Indianapolis. Let's get right into the draft. Draft was held. Over 170 people were involved in the draft. What is the key thing this year is parity. The, the captains are doing a great job, leadership is doing a great job setting people up for parity within the league. This is the hardest year for people to pick who's going to be the winner, who is going to be the lowest team. But you know, right now the Swami's going to do it because he can portend the future to tell you who's going to be in first place, who's going to be in last place. So let's start with that. Who's going to be in last place? Smoking Iron. Smoking Iron. Reed and Taylor are the guys who are going to carry this team. Let's see how far they can go, but I'm not sure that it's going to be that far. Right up on top of them, I'm going to go ahead with nine Irish. Cody, James Cody is a beast. Let's see how he comes back from his broken ankle. Then we go on to Triton. Triton has got a lot of talent, but that talent is going to evaporate toward the end of the year. I would expect them to end up uh, toward the bottom. Then we see Bent Rail. How do you put Bent Rail that low? It's so, there's so much parity that you can move all these teams around. Rudy and Tristan on that team. Rudy, one of the greatest offensive players in the Indy GAA. You gotta put him there. Then you got Hotel Tango. A.A. Ron and Ludlow at both ends of that field. Let's see how they can handle that. Then we see Renners. Spear, a great player. Hugh Kelly hiding back here. Hugh Kelly, but that whole, the top five guys, it's hard to discern. Then I've got last year's and this pub, I've got Connors in fourth place. So many people up there, we'll just have to see. How do you put Church and Reardon any lower than fourth? I don't know how, but then you see Daredevil. Daredevil drafted a great team. They've got a lot of player development to go on, but if that player development kicks up, they've got a really great chance. Hellsource, I've got number two with Fagan and Connery. You can't deny those guys, and Fagan has been working hard. He wants to win. And finally, the top team that I see this year, we see Langton's. Langton's has got a great defense this year. Boyle is in there, Witkowski is in there, and then I think that a key part of that is Tim Boyle. He was a great pick at where he was picked. Let's see where it happened. So, Langton's on top, smoking iron at the bottom. It can fall anywhere in between. Let's get in to next week's games. Next week's games, we see at the 10 o'clock game, Daredevil versus Hotel Tango. Go ahead and put money on it, Hotel Tango. Also, Triton versus Smoking Iron. I think that one's gonna be a real tight game, but I'm gonna just squeeze Triton through that particular one. The 11 o'clock game, Renners versus Hellsource. Hellsource always starts out a little bit slow. I'm gonna say Renners beats Hellsource early, but Hellsource will come back later. Finally, Langtons versus Bet Rail. You will not want to miss this game. So much intensity of the players. Rudy, Tristan, 
Little John, Kabeem, Mathis, all those guys out there in the field, this is a game of intensity. See that one? But I'm going to go ahead and give Langtons their opening win. Then we see nine Irish versus Connors. Connors rolls in that game. They want to go ahead and prove that last year's win was not a fluke. And then finally, Hotel Tango versus Triton. Hotel Tango, A.A. Ron, Mike Monahan, they ram it over the Triton group to win it. So this is our opening week. We'll have to see where it stands, but the Swami feels strongly about these picks. Fagan, you're going down this year. You're going down, and we'll see you on the pitch.